Now that your background has dried, you can start to put some colour onto the fruit. Now, the apple is quite a large object in the still life. And the important thing about painting the apple is to remember that you have to leave the highlights where the light catches the apple that is what you've got to leave white but round this side you can actually see the pear reflected into the side of the apple So here we go. We can put a very slight tinge of green into the that's it. There we are. Now there is quite a bit of green in the outside of this apple but I'm mixing a little yellow with the green because it is very much a yellowy green. Here we go. In the base of the apple you will find that the colours are very much darker than where the light affects it at the top. However, there you are. Now we will put in a little brown colouring at the top of the apple where the little core comes.
little dark brown streak to show where the stem is or was rather. Now we will look at painting the pear, which is an interesting rather sort of pale 